Perfect. Hi, my name is Arlene Martinez from My Sangre Latina. Hi. Nice to meet you. Well, first of all, I got to tell you, I love the series. I'm a military wife, 25 years wife. My husband just about to retire. So I know a few things about military. And thank you. I really feel connected. I feel like Jessica, military wife. You know, it, I feel really, really connected. Going through the military line, how was, this is for the three of you. How was the preparation to do this you know, this series, you know, in Colombia, surviving and the jungle, you know, all this stuff. Oh, well, the preparation was was a very exciting part of working on this project. Um, um, for uh, Luke and I, it meant that we had to sort of understand the world of, of, of these special forces operators, these very highly skilled and highly trained um, uh, soldiers. And so um, we spend a lot of time with, uh, with a military advisor who was actually a, a former Navy SEAL himself. Um, and that was really exciting incredible. for us, right? Yeah. yeah, really incredible. I mean, that, I think we, we both... We both knew it was going to be an intense kind of uh, job roles, but we we were ready for it, weren't we? We we really we arrived in Atlanta and we were put straight into training, and um, we had each other's back for ten months, and we we propped each other up in jungles, desert islands, slums, rooftops, in the snow, helicopters, you know, you name it, we did it, and we we I think we enjoyed it, right? Oh my god, <laughs> we loved it. But really, when you watch the show, some of the biggest stunts. Are probably done by this one over here. <laughs> really? No, oh, yeah. I would, yeah, I would say that um, for preparation, you know, it was important for us to really learn to like each other. So we'd have a natural bond going into a story about this triangle of, of um, you know, commitment and family. Mm -hmm. And um, and then, of course, there's the physical preparation and there was the psychological preparation as well of knowing that we were going to take this journey in an unknown place and sort of push ourselves with stunts and and um, emotion and all of those things. So uh, for Luke, I heard you, you were speaking Spanish. Your speech mm. is actually really good. Do you have any training? Do you learn? <laughs> Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, well, it was actually it was. um. I don't remember what episode it was. It was early on, and uh, yes, the the uh, it was with Carlos Bardem, yes. and um, they asked the me. That's the, uh, right. They were like, right. "Do yes. you want to speak some Spanish to Carlos Bardem's character, um, Pereira?" And I said, "Yeah, why not?" I mean, I had learned some Spanish. I have a Spanish partner, so um, I thought, you know, I've got I've got some good uh, support here with the, with the language. So I tried it, and it went really well. And then what happened was when. The, when it went well, then every other director was like, hmm, maybe Luke can speak a little Spanish today. <laughs> so I ended up speaking Spanish more than I thought I would, but yeah. um, I enjoyed it because I do love the Spanish language. And I think, you know, respectfully, Bambi was able to communicate to the Spanish speaking characters in their language, which just added another interesting dimension to what Bambi's training must have been. Where did he learn that language? How was he able to speak the language? And uh, you know, I just lo I love that because it just added another storyline to my backstory of the character. And for oh. us, the fact, the fact that so much of the dialogue in the show is actually in Spanish, right? Whenever it's it's between like Colombian characters, it's all in Spanish, and that, that is that was very exciting to us as well. Is that if there was any like any barrier, language barrier, trying to work like because there is a lot of scenes that are in Spanish. And then you guys are interact and the fights and stuff. If there's any like barriers, like any conflicts that you guys may have, like doing the you know uh, taping filming the scenes. Not for me. I feel like there is a common language as artists, mm -hmm. and everyone spoke that language, and so we all knew what we were meant to be doing and the story we were telling. I, I didn't feel there was a barrier. No. At all. No, and it, when it, whenever there was a barrier, I would just say, listo el pollo, and that would just <laughs> fix it. <clears throat> that always works, really. Re ready the chicken. chickens. Yeah, <laughs> ready the chicken. No, and we had a great... Oh, go on, carry on, carry on. 
Okay, to finish, uh, because I only have like one minute left, how was working in Colombia? If it was your first time, how was like everything is beautiful? What was your, you know, your take on Colombia? Oh, we loved it. Man. Oh my it's God. It's incredible. Amazing. And, you know, to do to do a job which allows you to travel around the country and and meet people from all over the country and and uh it, it was very special. I mean, we we were we felt very lucky to to have that experience, and everyone we met from the the slums of Bogota to the the the, the people of, from Giradot and to to the Rosario Island. Islands. Yeah, everybody was super gracious and very professional, and it seemed like everybody was happy to see us. You know, it was um it was fun. It was really fun. Well, thank you so much. It was amazing. I love this series. I cannot wait to finish the season. And, um, you know, good luck to you guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.